To complete this project, you will need a wooden number 2 pencil and a cup of water. Everything else is included. Begin by removing the contents from the box and place them on the table. Unwrap the drinking vessel replica and place a sheet of craft paper in your lap. Fold the second sheet of craft paper and place the replica on top. Lay the two plates, paintbrush, and white sponge on the paper. You will use the yellow paint first. Squeeze some yellow paint onto one side of the empty plate. Using the small end of the sponge and the yellow paint, cover the outside of the replica until it is uniform in color. Paint the inside of the rim with the yellow paint. You do not need to paint all the way to the bottom on the inside. Once you are done, set the plate and sponge aside. Allow the replica to dry. Using the pencil, lightly sketch the designs you would like onto the replica. There are numerous examples located in the lesson plan. You can freehand lines around the replica. You can draw a straight line by holding your pencil against the table and placing the point on the replica. Slowly turn the replica as shown here. If you make a mistake, you can lightly erase the pencil lines. Once you are satisfied with your designs, squeeze a small amount of the burnt umber paint onto the second clean plate. Using the paintbrush, begin painting your drawn-on designs. Lightly thinning the paint will help it flow better when painting thin lines.
Once you are satisfied with your painting, clean the paintbrush thoroughly and save for future art projects. Allow the replica to dry thoroughly before handling or packing. If packing, use the clean paper in your lap to wrap the replica. You may need to tape the box if it is transported by small children. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for using Art in History.